Recently in this series, we looked at how I have set up Evernote so that it's a tool for implementing GTD, the Getting Things Done methodology made famous by David Allen. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. In this segment, I want to show you how I use my system in Evernote for GTD. Please hit the like button below and subscribe, then you won't miss any of these episodes. So I want to show you three different ways of accomplishing the same thing. I'll show you the uh, GTD system that I have in Evernote. I'll show you another system that is very popular. And then I'll show you a third system. In fact, the third system is what I want to start with right now. I don't personally use tasks right now. I have a feeling I will migrate it, uh, migrate to tasks in the future. Uh, but because I had a, a full-time 9-to-5 job for uh, 30 years in which I used Nirvana, uh, I have continued to use Nirvana uh, even after I opened up my consulting business. And, uh, and started producing YouTube videos. And I just haven't migrated over yet, but I think one of my next great experiments will be to uh, use the tasks function. But you could, for example, uh, you could have the tasks feature and list all of your to-do and task lists here. And then uh, you can set up highlights, you can set up things that you've assigned to other people, you can create notes, uh, you can search on them. I think it's a pretty good system. Uh, it's not exactly GTD, but it is something that you might want to uh, check out. Now, the second, and uh, I would say a very popular way of implementing GTD in Evernote, is to create notebooks uh, that parallel uh, the different folders that are called for in the GTD system. So, for example, you would have a, a calls notebook, and uh, in that notebook, uh, you could uh, you could make a long list of the calls that you need to make. Uh, and of course, they can be made from any phone or really anywhere that you have a phone. So it doesn't require a specific location like at home or an, at the office. Um, so one thing that you could do, of course, is you could uh, list the call that you that you want to make, such as call Bob regarding proposal and then you could right here put his phone number and then you could actually at this point in time you could uh, put a PDF of the proposal uh, if you want to take notes from the call you could put that here as well and then once it's done uh, being a call that you have to make well then you can move it to your uh, project folder uh, the same thing could be done. Uh, you could set up a, a folder for uh, at computer, which would be tasks that you uh, that you want to do when you are uh, you know in the vicinity of your computer. Uh, another popular folder would be uh, errands, uh, and that would hold uh, action items that you need to take when you're you know out in the world and you're you 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 drive by the the pet supply store and you look at your list and you went, oh yeah, I got to stop there and I got to pick up a, a dog food or something like that. Uh, so you could list there uh, propose, uh, of all of the items that you have to run errands. Uh, you could have another folder here for home uh, where you uh, uh, have all of the actions that have to be done when you're in your, you know, when you're in your home. Uh, that could be something that you're doing at your desk. It could be uh, a project that you're working on in your backyard, uh, that could be a whole separate uh, folder that you want to track here. Uh, similarly, you could have a folder for at office where you could list all of your office projects. You could have a, a waiting for folder here. Uh, so every time you assign a project to someone, you could have a separate note about that as well. If you're going that route, you'd probably also want to have a someday maybe folder and uh, you know probably be a good idea just to have a projects folder now in this case I've got one labeled for personal projects but in fact you could have one that combines both your personal and your professional projects or you could have a personal projects folder and a, uh, a professional projects folder and that of course would allow you to track projects and tasks that you have uh, that uh, you know you're working on 
uh, probably uh, some point in the next year, and you could have that whole list looking at you when you uh, when you do your weekly review. So my system is a little bit different. It takes more advantage of tags. So as you can see, my notebook structure is really a lot simpler. This is this is the way I actually have my system set up in my regular Evernote account. Uh, this is just the demo account, but it really is set up very much the same way. I have an inbox folder, which is, you know, this is where everything starts. This is where everything goes in the inbox folder. And then I uh, go through the inbox folder and decide what uh, notes I need to move into some of my other folders. Then I have a uh, folder, then I have a notebook for all of my personal projects. This is where I keep track of everything that I'm going to do uh, in my life from, uh, uh, you know, the trimming the trees outside to uh, uh, anything that I want to do that's related to my home or my personal life uh, gets a note in, in this notebook. Uh, I have a, a consulting business, as I'm sure you know, so I have a folder for all of the consulting projects that I'm working on. I do a lot of teaching, both in person at area universities and, and online, so I have a folder for that where I will put all of my course materials. Uh, as I say, this is my demo account, so it's showing zero. Uh, then I set up a, a client folder so that every one of my clients gets their own uh, a notebook in that stack. Um, and then I also actually have another folder for course development. Um, this Actually, I could put this in teaching, but because this is a pretty active folder for me, I'm, I'm collecting a lot of information for future courses, I, uh, I keep that separate. And then I have a, a subfolder in that stack for uh, all of the courses that I might be working on. And finally, I have an archives folder. Uh, once I've finished something here, I just put it in the archives. I don't want to lose track of it, um, but on the other hand, I may want to consult it again. Uh, so, for example, even if it's a personal project, um, you know, it may have to do with a, a piece of equipment that I buy. Uh, well, I might want to keep the owner's manual once I have it. I put it in archives. If it's even something related to a client, I put it in the archives. The reason why I don't need separate folders in archives is because of the powerful Evernote search tool. So I can always find things uh, in there if, in there in an archive folder. Uh, I used to have an archive folder marked archive personal and archive professional, but I've since combined that all into uh, all into one. But here is where I implement the GTD system. I implement it by using tags. So these are all of my uh, my tags, and let me tell you what they are. So the first batch you'll recognize if you follow the GTD methodology, at calls, at computer, at errands, at projects, at someday maybe, at waiting for. Um, so if I'm in, uh, let's say I'm, I'm working on, uh, on one of my, uh, my, my teaching projects, and I realize that I have to call somebody, uh, well, what I can do is in this teaching folder, I might have a... Uh, I might have an item here that uh, has to do with the course I'm teaching in, in leadership. And, uh, you know, so I'd have all my notes here. And then I realized, uh-oh, I've got to call John uh, regarding the proposal. All right, so I don't want to get that lost in this, in this mess. I want to have call John. And I'd, and I'd probably have his uh, phone number here uh, as well. Uh, if I don't, that's no big deal because I do have that readily accessible in my uh, online phone directory. But so, okay, now I want to make sure that I, I call John about this, about this curriculum. So rather than move it to another folder, I simply use the tag system. And the way I do that is I go to the bottom where it says add tag. And I say, I want to add it to my, I want to add it to my, uh, at calls. Uh, and you see what actually, the minute I typed it up, it, it made the suggestion. So now it's tagged for calls. Uh, so now, uh, you know, this note remains here in the notebook stack. Um, but now if I come down here to calls, now you can see it's also tagged for calls. So, so let's say I'm now by the phone and I want to make some phone calls. I click on this uh, tag and it will list all of the calls that I have to make. Similarly, if I have uh, all of my projects that are listed here, now I have a consulting project that I'm working on. 
Well, I have a note regarding that consulting project. I might tag it uh, at computer. And uh, then when I click on the computer tag, all of those notes would appear. So again, this is a different system of using tags. I All of my GTD items reside in here. Now, it's true that all of these items like calls and computer and errands could in fact be in the Evernote task list, and that's where we started this conversation. But this is just the system that has never failed me by using tags. This way, wherever I am, uh, if I'm in the car, I can pull up my uh, mobile device and I can click on uh, at errands and it will tell me what errands I need to run uh, at the moment. Hope that helps you see how I use GTD in Evernote. We'll have more segments coming up, so don't miss any of them. Subscribe and hit the like button below. Oh, and by the way, as you know, uh, productivity is just one important component of leadership. And I have written a book called Be a Leader, Not Just a Manager. And I'd like you to take a look at it. I think you'd find it very, very helpful. Uh, looking through the table of contents, it's, it's broken down into three different sections. Part one is developing your leadership skills. Part two is building and leading a team. And part three is leading in today's work environment. So check it out. Be a leader, not just a manager. My new book. Find out more information at my website, daveedwardsmedia.com, and click on books. We'll talk to you soon.